is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and I wanted to film a blindfolded like a bourbon taste test, right? But your boy is way too broke to sit here and buy like 10 different bottles of bourbon. But Bevmo, the store that I'm in right now, it's like a giant alcohol store. Um, I think they're all over the US, maybe not though, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but they sell like a million different nips, so I'm gonna go look and see if they have like a bunch of the commonly known bourbons and then if they do, I will pick them all up and when I get home, we will do a taste test. But let's go see what they have. See what I'm saying? They have like everything you can think of, but in mini bottles, so it's gonna save me like $100 by just buying little ones. We got Maker's Mark, Pendleton, Knob Creek, Jack Daniels, which isn't technically bourbon, but a lot of people still drink it, so I'll still include it. Bullet, that's what I think is my favorite, so we'll see if it wins. So we'll go with this for the cheap one, pocket shot. It's just like, I don't know if it's their brand or what, but it's cheap. So I mean, not as bad as buying seven bottles, uh, but still kind of expensive. It was like 40 bucks for all seven of them. The most expensive one I got, I think was Knob Creek Single Barrel Select 100 Proof. I didn't really think, I'm doing this on like a Monday. Yeah, Monday the 13th, and I have to teach class tomorrow, and this is like seven shots of bourbon. Uh, that I'm gonna film tonight when I get home. Didn't really think that one out the best, but I uh, just gotta stop and get me and Kelsey food because we're both super hungry. We're gonna get wings and things. If you've never had it, it's uh, And then I'll bring you guys back once we get home. I'll get all set up and get ready to go, and I will re-show you guys all the bourbons I got because I switched it up and I put one back. Uh, I put the Canadian bourbon, I mean the Pendleton bourbon back and got something else instead. Got the food right there. Wings and things, got a uh, family bundle, no, a double meal of the mild tenders. Absolutely delicious. Wingstop is better, but Wingstop is off the other highway, so it would take like an extra 25 minutes to get there. Your boy's hungry, I still have to get home, film, and maybe edit this video to post tomorrow morning, uh, but I am driving now and probably breaking the law, and I really hope this is not an undercover cop right there. Nope, that would have sucked a lot. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure this is probably illegal, but I will bring you guys back once I get home and get all set up. All right guys, let's get into the actual video. But first, I made merch, kind of. Like I literally made it myself with iron on and the cricket. If you guys know what a cricket is, it's like a little thing that you can use to cut stuff. I know that's super vague. Um, but yeah, it's got like the AG, it's kind of like the logo from my intro. Um, I don't have like an actual logo, that's the only thing. Before I actually make these shirts, I need like a legit logo. So if you're a graphic designer and you make logos, hit me up in the DMs, please, because it's expensive to get one made. Um, and then on the sleeve, it's got this like little like, subscribe thing. Uh, it's holographic, so it like changes colors. It looks like a reddish orange sometimes and like a bluish green sometimes. Super dope, and then the back. Um, I don't know how to show you the back. <laughs> Just says Andy Gabs. Ooh, I almost fell. Just says Andy Gabs across the back like that. Super nice though, I like it. This one is just for me, um, but if enough people say they like it and they wanna buy it, I will make like 10 of them maybe uh, and sell them. They'd probably be like 40 bucks a piece though because this stuff is super expensive. Like for one sheet of it, it's like 18 bucks for this stuff. Obviously once the channel grows, once I hit like 10K, I wanna actually come out with actual shirts and stuff. Let's get into the video. Like that video, please. Comment down below. Subscribe. Make sure you like it. Hit the subscription button. Hit the subscription button for daddy. Thanks, guys. Bourbon taste test, right? I love bourbon. I don't want to say I'm a bourbon connoisseur, but I am moving to Bourbon Street. See what I did there? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. So I know some people are gonna say, well, Jack Daniels isn't bourbon. I got it, but it is still a super popular whiskey that like everyone knows. My head is right where the moon is and it's like driving me crazy because I can see myself in the camera. I'll go through all the ones that I have. They're not in order like this. Uh, they just look like they are, but. So we've got Maker's Mark whiskey. We've got regular Jack Daniels. We've got Jack Daniels single barrel select. These two were the most expensive at $7 per uh, per nip. Bullet Bourbon, I think this is gonna be my favorite. Well, I mean, that is my favorite, but I don't know, these blindfolded things have made me mess up in the past. Larceny, which I also really like, and then Pocket Shot, which is like the cheap one, I think. 
I mean, it is the cheap one. And then they just, in different shot glasses. Also, me and Kelsey kind of collect shot glasses from everywhere we go. So we got this Hawaiian one from Oahu. The Hershey one is from Hershey, Pennsylvania. Did a video there, go check it out. This Skull one is from, it came with a bottle of uh, Crystal Head vodka, really expensive vodka, tasty. This is from San Francisco. Didn't actually go to San Francisco, but I went to the airport, so I feel like I could get a shot glass. This is from Baker, California from the alien beef jerky, best beef jerky in the world, but cool shot glass, it's got like an alien in it. You guys might be able to see that. Uh, this is bitch one, because I am the main bitch. I'm just kidding, uh, it's Kelsey shot glass. My dad got it for her. And then this boot, where did the boot come from? Uh, we got it when we were texting, no. No, because we have two of them. I got it. I don't know, the boot's from somewhere. Um, so again, they don't correlate, they're not in order, so I'm gonna be tasting and rating and guessing which one it is. Um, I'm not gonna start off in any particular order and please don't crucify me if I fail and don't say I don't have tasting glasses, I know, I can't nose it, blah, blah, blah. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a sommelier for bourbon. But let's get started. Um, we'll start in the middle with this one. So it doesn't smell familiar off the bat. It smells sweet. I think this is gonna be really hard. Uh, I said that about the hot sauce one too. It's good, it tastes good, but I feel like it's not a super complex flavor. Like I feel like it's kind of flat. I don't think it's bullet. I don't think it's regular Jack. But I think it's better than what I think the pocket shot is gonna be. So I'm gonna say this is Makers. I'm gonna give it a four. I reserve the right to go back and change these though a little bit just based on like tasting the rest, you know what I mean? Is it um, one out of ten? One out of ten, yeah, one out of ten. So that gets a four out of ten. Wow. Uh, Kelsey is grading for me. She's off to the left with the baby. All right, next up, so again, crab glass. I have maker's mark and I rated that a four. See if I can edit a four to stay right there. Next up, we'll do the crystal head. This one smells more alcoholy, like more like a pure alcohol, you know what I mean? Like rubbing alcohol? Ooh. That one's a lot stronger, I think. And because I think this one is like 100 proof or something. Yeah, so this Knob Creek is small batch 100 proof. And just based off how that hit me, um, and it didn't taste super familiar. I'm gonna say this is Knob Creek 100 proof. And um, it's good, but again, I th I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. And because, well, is this 100 proof too? Damn near, 98.5. God, so it could be that too, but I think it's the Knob Creek. Um, I don't know, it's not, I don't think it's that good. All right, so I'm gonna bump it. I'm gonna make the maker's mark, or what I think is the maker's mark a five, and I'm gonna make that one a four. Really? Hey, now you might not have to buy expensive bourbon. Why? Well, don't give me those hints, because you just well, made no, them. No, I'm saying, like, if you find out you like the cheap one. Oh, well, yeah, if I find out I like the cheap I'm saying one. saying this test is gonna figure out if you really need it. All right, next up, we will go with bitch one. I am also going to palate cleanse. Um, notice that I did not pour all of them into the shot glasses, and I'm not taking whole shots. I don't want to be obliterated by the time this video is done, but I promise you, whichever the top two, I will take those shots as a reward for myself. This one smells familiar. Substantially more mild, and it almost tastes stale. I don't know if you get what I mean by that, but it definitely tastes stale. I'm trying to see which one has the lowest alcohol content. Because I feel like this is that. Oh, I don't think it's Jack, but Jack and the Pocket Shot are both at 80 proof for 40% alcohol. <laughs> not a huge fan of that. It tastes, like I said, stale. I know that might not make sense, but like it tastes like you had a bottle and you opened it and just let it sit for like a couple days and then you came and did the taste test, that's what I would say this tastes like. 
So I'm going to say that is the pocket shot. That is my guess for that one. I think I'm right there too. God, I hope I'm right. I really like, these make me legit, like I have anxiety right now because like I don't want bullet to come in last because that's my favorite. And I can literally drink a bottle of that in a day. Next up, which one? Do I want to do Boot, Hawaii, Alien, or Hershey? I feel like it smells like rubbing alcohol. Don't get a lot on the nose. Got a lot of complex flavors going on. It's like a smokiness to it. And it's not super like kick you in the nuts strong, which I love. Um, I don't think it was Bullet, but I do think it was Larceny. I would say it's between Larceny and Bullet. Um, I'm gonna say this one was Larceny. And because I like that one, I'm gonna give it, so what am I at, three, four, no wait, three, yeah, four, five, I'll bump up to a seven for that one. I think that one was pretty good. Uh, it didn't smell great, but it tasted very good when I tasted it. All right, next up, we'll do the alien since he's right in the middle. Nice gold color. Uh, I don't know how they got an alien in there. He's probably dead by now or just super drunk. And that doesn't taste like any of those three. So I have a bullet and the two jacks left and this doesn't taste like any of those. Okay, so I might do a switch at the end, but for now, I'm gonna put the alien with the jack. Um, middle of the road, I'd give that one a five. All right. Mm -mm. This is jack. Or is that bullet? Mm -mm. Based off the sting of that, and it's really good. I like that a lot. Um, this is the 100 proof jack. The boot is the 100 proof jack. I'm pretty sure about that one too. Unless the boot, like unless I switched those two, but when I tasted that, I instantly thought jack, but it was too harsh to be normal jack, I think. Not too harsh, too strong. Like, you know when you take a shot of like, low end, low strength vodka and it like burns your mouth and then you take a shot of like, of like gray goose or something like that and it like, you can feel it in your nose, like in the back of your sinuses. That's what I got with that one and that one. Um, so I think I have those right, but they might be switched. And then at the end I might do one more little sip. What would you rate it? Uh, seven, I like that. Is it gonna be bullet? I don't know. No. Okay, so I'm definitely doing switches. Uh, that's very sweet. Very sweet. Is that, yeah, that's in the video. Um, a five, I'll give it like middle of the road, but it is a little too sweet for my taste. So I'm gonna switch um, Jack. I'm gonna put Jack as the last one. Jack is the new Hawaii, and then ah, uh, what did I rate the alien? Five. And what did I rate bitch? Three. Oh my god, I can't do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put larceny with bitch. I'm gonna put pocket shot with Hershey, and I'm gonna put bullet with the alien. And I am so not confident about these answers. But here's my final rankings. So how many did I get correct? One. I only got one right? Yeah. Bruh. How many did I have right before I switched? None. <laughs> oh my god. What? I'm legitimately confused. I had none right before I made the switches, and I made the switches and only have one correct. I might disown myself as a bourbon drinker. Can I? But in my defense, so every time Brett and Link do this, like they barely get any right, so. And this is where I got like the idea for this from. I know a lot of people do it, but I love to watch Brett and Link. Um, all right, yeah, so let's just, let's just go through it. So what was the, I said I liked Bullet the most, and Bullet got my highest rating. And that's a Hershey, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah, but Fancy Jack also got seven. Oh, I gave the pocket shot a five. Pocket shot. Good for you, pocket shot. So my two favorites, both rated at seven. Oh, you guys can't see those was the Bullet Bourbon and the Knob Creek 100 Proof. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with buying Bullet because uh, it's substantially cheaper than the Knob Creek 100 Proof. This was $7 for a nip. This was, I think, $2.99 or $3.99 for a nip. Also, do you guys call these nips? Like in New England, these little bottles are called nips. I don't know anyone not from New England that doesn't call them nips. So what do you call these little bottles? Do you call them nips, minis, airplane bottles? I've heard so many different names. It sounded like Scarlett just said bottle. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys call them. Also, let me know, do you guys like bourbon and what is your favorite bourbon? If it's something that I didn't try here, let me know and I will definitely try. I love to try all, type, all types of new things. So if you want me to try it, let me know. But as promised, I said that my top two, You're gonna, oh my God. I would finish them off. I mean, realistically, I've only had like three shots total because I only took six. Um, mazel tov, Lahain. Yeah, I don't like being blindfolded. Like I'll still do a couple more blindfolded videos every now and then, but like it, it just, it messes me up so much. Like the hot sauce video, dude, I was so confused. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and sip on this. It's 100 proof, I really don't wanna take a shot of it. My stomach already kind of hurts just from taking all of these and I'm like definitely buzzing right now and I have to edit this video right now. So don't wanna just slam it. But um, yeah, let me know if you guys would like to buy this merch. If I get 10 people that say they would like to buy it, and like I said, it's gonna be at the $30, $40 price point. I know that's expensive, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna like lose money making all of the shirts. Um, I can make it in any color you want, realistically. I like black, I just think it makes the, the lettering kind of pop. And I'll hand cut all of them, I'll autograph them. If you want me to autograph them, I'll do whatever you want. They'll include a cool note, some business cards, my little, you know, and gas cards. Um, yeah, so if you want one of those, comment down below. Get enough people, I will do it. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video right now to post it tomorrow morning. Thank you guys all for watching. Please like this video. Subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Comment something down below. Comment if you want the merch. Comment your favorite bourbon. Comment if you think that I suck. Uh, I don't care. Just comment something for me. I would appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.